They are the parts and pieces that make up the enhanced production of and design improvements for the 787's lithium ion batteries. Boeing teams have engineered and produced a comprehensive safety solution, which has been validated by outside experts. We've had people working literally 24-7, developing engineering, testing around the clock. Terry Beeshold is Boeing's vice president of process and tools and was chosen to lead the battery team. He says engineers started at the cell level. Each battery is made up of eight cells and enclosed in a blue aluminum case. They are lightweight, quick-charging backup power sources for the airplane. One improvement to its design, heavy-duty, high-temperature laminate dividers that will be placed in between and around each cell. If there is a failure, this will help protect it from spreading or propagating from one cell to the others. The idea is to protect in layers, and this is but one of many. Another layer of improvement, this insulating tape, which has special electrical isolation properties. It will be wrapped around each cell. Technicians will also bundle wiring and protective wraps, and locking nuts have been added to a connector plate as yet another safeguard. Okay, so this is an individual battery cell. On each cell, there's a path that allows gases to vent if there's too much pressure. The aluminum battery case will have coinciding holes to allow gas or vapors to vent as well, which greatly reduces the risk of high temperatures triggering other cells to fail. In the unlikely event of battery failure, engineers have also designed this steel enclosure, which will hold the battery pack and its aluminum case. A mock-up design with a clear front panel shows how the battery fits inside the enclosure. So we're going to raise the platform. Engineers went through several enclosure designs. Using these machines, Boeing technicians created plastic prototypes from pools of polymer liquid. The pieces were sent off, put together, and placed in a mock-up space, which simulates sections of the 787. It gave Boeing teams a hands-on feel for how the enclosure and battery would work on the airplane. And then this is where we pressurize the enclosure. Beeshold explains the steel structure was put through all kinds of scenarios. We started uh, by failing a single battery cell in a small enclosure to demonstrate that in the absence of oxygen, the gases are not flammable. Which means no fire. That pop is the sound of another unlikely scenario being tested. Propane exposed to a flame. The enclosure proved a fire would not start. The slow motion shows the elasticity and strength of the 1 8 inch steel walls. So it expanded. Testing lead engineer Matthew Mosier says the enclosure was pressurized to three times the maximum requirements, well beyond what's needed if there was a battery issue. Quite a bit of excess capability testing. The enclosure is also designed with a venting system. A titanium tube will safely direct vapors from the enclosure to outside the airplane. Everything was contained within the enclosure was vented overboard just as designed. Beeshold stresses the enclosure is a safeguard and that improvements at the battery cell level designed and tested by Boeing's deep pool of engineers and technicians greatly reduce the risk of any future battery issues.